join us. Circle the globe. The planet is your hunting paradise. And one man will show you the world as you've never seen it before. Danger won't stop him. Nature won't break him. Or prevent him from doing the impossible. Hunting the Earth with bow and arrow. Be there to share this adventure. The ultimate journey for the ultimate shot. Hello, I'm Archie Nesbitt, and once again, you are with the ultimate shot. On this adventure, we will visit Benin, the only country in the world whose official religion once was voodoo. With you, we will embark on a journey into the African bush to challenge our fate with an aggressive, flesh-eating pride of lions. After that, we will become witnesses to a spectacular hunt of the King of the Beast, where we will discover and hunt a trophy white lion. We got some of our stuff. So Air I, France has the rest of our stuff, so yeah. What's wrong about your luggage? I don't know. Our, my good bag, it, my my new equipment is there, but I have I have my extra stuff, so I'm okay. You're okay for a start. I'm okay for a start, yeah. Okay. I started this hunt with my spare bow, which was tested, tried, and true. Our main quarry here in Benin was Black Death, the Western Savanna buffalo a big and dangerous animal with which we had had several close encounters. I will tell you about that in some other episode of The Ultimate Shot. Now, let's get back to the unexpected turn of events that found us among the lion pride. The buffalo hunt was simple. In the morning we got up well before dawn, and with the first rays of the sun, we were already in the bush where we searched for fresh tracks of the animals that had passed across the road, leaving fresh sign for our trackers, who would say it's one or two hours old. During one such tour for fresh tracks with the Jeep, our attention was attracted to an unusual sight. Some kilometers away from us, dozens of vultures flew in tight circles high above in the sky. 20 or 30 vultures soaring and circling, and it looked like they were coming down. Maybe there's another lion kill here. Do we think it could be a kill, or do we think they're just flying? We decided to check out in person what food source had attracted the vultures. Advancing slowly, we watched the big black birds with curiosity. At some 150 meters from us, a big male lion was walking away from us with a graceful step. If I wanted this trophy, we had to follow it quickly. We jumped out of the Jeep and ran recklessly after the big cat. Our guide had already loaded the big Magnum rifles. Soon we would discover what a big mistake we had made. Right after we jumped on the ground, we lost virtual contact with the beast of prey. The tall grass hid it from us. We continued slowly forward under the approving eyes of the vultures. The two large caliber carbine rifles inspired us with confidence in our supremacy over the lion. The situation was now getting quite risky. In fact, it was getting ugly. A mere 50 meters from us, we had seen two female lions who were cutting the air nervously with their tails. Yes, it is. Where is it? Do you, do you see it? Their bodies were totally indistinguishable from the grass. They were exactly the same color. Did you see Only something? the swishing black tip tail gave them away. Oh, okay. If they were motionless, we could step on them before seeing them. Further, we had no idea at all as to exactly how many lions were around us and where they were. We could not go back. Every step back could make the beasts more ferocious. Our only way out was the car, 
and it needed to come as fast as possible. Our guide barked on the radio. Yeah, we don't want to have to shoot one. We don't want to have to shoot a female. See? Right there. Right here, see it? Right behind the tree. See the tail? Female. Yeah. Oh, I think so. She's not happy. Shit. We should get out of here. <laughs> oh Don't I wish. The vultures waited for their share of the roan killed by the lions. Oh yeah, there's the roan. It's a nice roan. Boy, can they hide, eh? Yeah. Oh, they are so dangerous. But she's still, she's still right there. She's in those, in that grass. Okay, so watch She's right there. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine if you go and push it through? Oh shit. Yeah. I don't think you, we got a chance in the world of, of, of uh, putting that bait up. Oh. The females guarded their prey and wouldn't allow anyone or anything to approach it. The only thing we could do was wait and hope for some of the Something males to there. return. It seemed that time had stopped. The hours passed by slowly, and we were all waiting to see who would give up first in this unnerving game. The lioness waited for us to go away. The vultures waited for the lions to go away. And we waited for the big male to come back. The first one that moved would lose oh, yeah. the game. Soon the fiery red disk of the sun would sink below the horizon. When darkness fell, we had no chance at all against so many lions, if they decided to challenge us and our presence. We would come back in the morning. The carnivores wouldn't abandon their freshly killed prey, and hopefully they would have their fill and be resting nearby. One of the females is right here, isn't she? Or right here. That branch is moving. Those branches are The 
It's a big one, isn't it? Is it? Is that a, a male? They're huge lions. Is that the lion close to the room? No. That's a bigger one there. Oh, yeah. Something right here coming. Right there's a female right there. She's right there. You better be careful. Right there. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> we got him. Yeah! Yeah! Merci beaucoup. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well, great opportunity to hunt them, and I had a, a great stock and great help from uh, some great people today, and, and uh, we just ran into them and, and uh, snuck around and got a decent shot in them. It could have been better, I guess, but uh, in the circumstances through the brush, it was just great, and we got a fabulous, fabulous trophy. You're beautiful. Thanks, everyone, for all your help. And, for uh, making it possible for me. We continue our worldwide hunting adventures in our search for the ultimate shot. And for this episode, we are taking you to South Africa, where we will hunt lions, the king of the jungle. Historically, these big cats, the biggest on the continent, were widespread throughout most of Africa and Eurasia. The second largest predator in the world lost the battle with human beings long ago. And today there are only six subspecies left, five of which are found in the African savanna and one in India. Lion hunting has long been regulated by international tribunals and only a limited number of hunting permits are allowed for countries with huntable populations. The lion population is well managed and preserved. The small number of permits to hunt mature male lions makes them a very coveted trophy for a hunter. The focus of management programs are the excess males in the population but often it is adult females which attack people and cattle as they are the main hunters. They have learned from experience that hunters leave them alone and as a result they enter human populated areas where hunting is easier without fear of any consequences. The locals seek the help of professional hunters to get rid of these dangerous animals. But it's often not easy to convince a hunter who has come to Africa for a thick and long haired mane on his trophy of a lifetime to kill a female lion, even if it's an animal that has caused serious problems. There just aren't many hunters who would pay a big price tag for a permit just to help people who suffer attacks from adult female lions. So often, with negotiations, the price is right. The lioness noticed the approaching people and crouched low in the dried grass stalking toward the two-legged prey. Keeping an eye on the hunters, the female had planted herself comfortably, poised, ready to attack, and it was very unwise to close the gap and approach any closer to her. The animal was dead and the lives of the people from the neighboring village could go back to normal.
The lioness hadn't killed a man, but in many cases, after attacking domestic animals, they also develop a taste for human flesh, as the basically unarmed local peoples try to drive them away. There is a widely known story of Savo, where the man-eaters abducted 28 workers from the construction site of a railway bridge over the Tsavo River. Even more shocking are the historic records of Tanganyika, now Tanzania, where a pride of lions terrorized the locals for 10 years. Record keeping started in 1930 and confirmed that by the end of 1940, man-eating lions had killed and eaten between 1,500 and 2,000 people. It is usually the rule that these attacks are made by old sick animals incapable of catching their natural prey. The next hunting trophy is really what brought this hunter into the heart of the dark continent. There are many hunters who can proudly boast that they have killed a lion. Yet there are very few of them that have been lucky enough to come across a white lion. This justifies the many hours of traveling down the dusty bush roads. 50 years ago, white lions were considered a legend an invention of local folklore. Since then, there have been many confrontations with this revered animal. With the ultimate shot, you are about to witness one of them. The hunter's dream came true. The trophy he got is truly unique. But the prize has its price, and that must take into consideration the habitat and wildlife management costs which enable this to be a huntable species. The license issued for this hunt provides the means and the incentive for their protection, conservation, and development. The white lion is not a distinct subspecies. They owe their coloring to a recessive gene. They are a rare form of the subspecies Panthera leo cougaria, with a genetic condition called leucem, which causes paler coloration of the skin, similar to that of the white tiger. The reverse conditions are also melanism, which results in a black panther. In the following minutes of footage of this ultimate shot, you will come to understand why lion hunting is always a hunt for dangerous game. And you will see just how long it takes for a big cat running at 50 miles per hour to cover the distance of 100 yards to the hunter.
gun on his back yet. This time the bullets stop the predator's attack. In many cases, hunters have fallen victim to the wounded animal they are pursuing. Even with these teeth battered from a decade of fights and gnawing on bone, the lion can easily crush a human skull. The dark coloring on the mane confirms the maturity and age of this trophy. Today you witness several incredible shots and we leave it up to you to decide which one of them is most worthy of the title Ultimate Shot. In the next episode of The Ultimate Shot, we will crisscross Europe as we follow our passion for hunting dangerous game and wild boars. In Hungary, you will witness our unexpected encounter with a boar as big as a bear. We will also hunt in Bulgaria, where we will witness a traditional driven hunt that attracts people from all over Europe. We will show you the emotions of the hunters participating in the driven hunt and tremendous adrenaline rush that they experience and the up close and personal confrontations with boars running wildly through the forest. You will see why, despite the obvious dangers of participation, this way of hunting is the number one favorite of European hunters. <laughs>